What's going on guys, Andrew Acevedo here back with another video and we are back with the first of home moves to the New York Mets at this year's MLB trade deadline. Mets are in first place, Mets still have holes to fill in the roster and it's good to see Billy Epler got out and ahead of the market and he has made a trade to acquire Pittsburgh Pirates first base DH Daniel Vogelbach in exchange for reliever Colin Holderman. Uh, I just rec I was just on with uh, Mets Weekly with uh, Mets fan obviously uh, on uh, the, our channel. Be sure to subscribe to that channel. Link down below. Talking about my instant reactions to Colin Holderman getting moved from the Mets to the Pirates. Uh, I guess, like I said on the stream, I'm a I was a huge fan of Colin Holderman. He had great stuff. I loved what I saw in spring training, and I was very happy when he got the opportunity in the big leagues to pitch well. And he pitched well in those opportunities. And him being the guy moved. Uh, I don't love that. Obviously, it's a controllable arm, but it's a reliever. And I think I'm not going to judge this trade giving up Holderman until the Mets do add that high leverage guy, which I believe they will. So right now, the trade is incomplete in my opinion because I do expect the Mets to add a high quality setup man. David Robertson, Daniel Bard, Andrew Chafin, those type of guys where the Mets can go out and add a high leverage reliever. And then replace that production with Colin for Colin Holderman. And then it's also kind of had to move a piece in the bullpen because you got guys like Joey Lucchese coming back. Tyler McGill most likely is going to be coming back as a reliever. And if Jacob DeGrom is healthy, David Peterson could be going into the bullpen. So the Mets have to open up some spots. And in, in addition to if they want to add a high leverage reliever. And this team has gone very veteran based. So I wasn't surprised. Like if you look at a playoff roster. Should would the Mets trust Colin Holderman, and would they trust a David P, uh, David Robertson? Would they trust a Daniel Bard compared to him? So let's talk about Daniel Vogelbach. So sucks to see Colin Holderman go, but let's talk about what the Mets are getting, and they are getting a big, big boy, big Chungus himself, and he is known for just hitting right-handed pitching, and that's what we're gonna bring him in to do is just be kind of the. Right now, the DH against righties, I'd still expect the Mets to go out and add a Trey Mancini, a Josh Bell, a CJ Crone to that level of player to fill the DH. And Andy Martino has confirmed this isn't the big trade for a bat. This is just, you know, a complimentary piece. Kind of like what the Braves did when they went out and added a bunch of bats. This could be one of many bats the Mets add. They do need some bats for the bench and some utility roles, but... He looked this year against right-handed pitching. He's got a 149 WRC+, plus, a 3 83 Woba. You look at his uh, basic numbers. He's got all 12 of his homers, 23 RBIs, hitting 260 against right handed pitching. That's what this man does. He is a big boy who hits big bombs against right handed pitching. That's what he is. He's not going to play every day. He'll play again every time there's a righty in the lineup. He, when maybe after the, all these deals in the Mets, let's say add a Trey Mancini just to throw a name out there and add another bench bat, he could be a deadly late in game. Bench bat, you know. Let's say they need a pinch hitter against a righty. Let's say it's against the uh, the Phillies, and they have uh, uh, Corey Canabel. They have Corey Canabel on the mound. You can throw, and let's say JD Davis just as the placeholder for JD Davis. I think they will add a lefty killer. But right now, let's say it's JD Davis. Uh, let's say they started Ranger Suarez, lefty JD starting late in the game. Corey Canabel Canabel comes in. You can pitch it Dan Vogelbach for Canabel for Davis. Big bat potentially give you a big homer, and the Mets new need some some power, and that's what Fogelbach is going to provide. He's not fleet of foot, but he can move for a big boy, uh, six foot, I believe, two hundred and eighty pound big boy. He, he's a chunger. He's stubby. He's a big boy, and he hits homers. That's what this guy's doing. So, I will. I think it's a good move. Uh, it's a short term move. Uh, maybe down the line, I do believe Colin Holderman can be a very good reliever in this in this sport in this league. We'll see what happens. He's going to go to Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh has a great closer in David Bednar. If they do keep him, that could be a pretty nice 7, 8, 9. But depending on, you know, are the Pirates going to be good enough? Will it matter? Could they potentially flip Colin in a few years? That's a wait and see. So I do think this is a good move for the Mets to add a guy for some power. It's the first of many. Uh, I, I hate giving up Colin Holderman, but I do. I wouldn't be surprised if David Robertson's a Met in the next 48 hours. So leave in the comment section down below, what is your opinion on the Dan Vogelbach for Colin Holderman trade? Leave it down in the comment section down below. Be sure to just drop a like, subscribe, turn on the notification bells because the Mets trades, you're going to get a video, you're going to get a stream on, on Mets Weekly, ESM. Be sure to check them out. Check Empire Sports Media for all of your New York sports needs. That's all linked down in the description below. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.